it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I didn't start my vlog before I'm standing right here at the worst angle possible in the parking lot. But I am at Kohl's, as you can see, and I'm gonna be filming my Fashion Friday. When you're watching this, I'm still, actually I'm probably driving from Orlando or Cape Canaveral to Destin. But um, yeah, I have had some a couple requests to do Kohl's, and so uh, here I am. I hope this goes well. Let's go inside. Okay, so this is outfit number one. This top is a 2X and it was $40. And these jeans are an 18. They are the, they're the Amanda Original Slimming Heritage Fit Tapered Leg Classic Rise. Whatever that all means. 18 average, 18 W average, $40. Um, they feel a little loose super not flattering right here like look at that that is not flattering i mean they're comfortable they're a little long but like i said they don't look good right there at all like i'd always have to wear spanx underwear with these um or wear long sweaters like this but even that you can still see it that's like so not nice looking i've only shopped at Kohl's a couple of times and it's just so disorganized and i don't know if it's just a plus size section that's like that or if it's the whole store but like there's a million types of jeans but it looks like someone just goes and rummages through all of them and they never fix them because it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning the store's only been open for a few hours at the most if they're doing like holiday hours so yeah the sweater's super soft i really like the sweater and i don't really understand cole's pricing like it's 40 dollars for this and 44 dollars for this but you'd like never pay full price but you have to like know how to work their cold cash and stuff like that, which I don't. Um, but yeah. Thumbs up to the top, thumbs down to the bottoms. And I actually picked up another pair of those pants in a bigger size just in case these didn't fit, but I definitely wouldn't go up to a 20. Because like, there is a ton of room over here. Like, these are very loose. And we know that jeans stretch out as you wear them, so. I don't know. All right, next outfit. Okay, second outfit. The pants are the Simply Vera brand and they are a 2X. They are everyday luxury slimming pant. Um, like I said, 2X. I forgot how much they were. I'll have to show them whenever I take them off because I don't see the tag. The top is the Sonoma like everyday flannel or something like that. And it's also a 2X and the top is $40. Um, again, super soft, super comfortable. Um, I feel like it's a little baggy, but I don't know if I necessarily want to go down to a 1X. I feel like I maybe should have brought a 1X in here. Uh-oh, the lights went out. Motion detector. Oh well, we'll keep going. <laughs> I will say I like that they have so many dressing rooms and there's no music playing, and yeah. 
so I can vlog in here without having to worry about anything. But yeah, overall, I think I like this. The pants are comfortable. Top is comfortable. Thumb, thumb. Okay, same pants, but different top. This is the Chaps brand. It is a 2X, and it's $56. Doesn't say, it just says holiday something. Just a cute little buffalo check, button up long sleeve. It smells really weird. It smells super chemically. If this wasn't $56, I would definitely get it but I'm not spending $56 on it, and I don't know how their pricing works, like I said. Um, it's kind of like a pajama top, sort of, but it's not pajamas. It's really cute. I definitely like this one. Before I forget, the Simply Vera um, pants that I tried on, the black pants, um, they are skinny, mid-rise, and they're the short, and they are $50. It's not focusing, but just trust me. There we go, 50 bucks. Okay, these are an 18. They're the Sonoma brand. They're capris. They're navy. It's kind of hard to tell that they're navy. The fit's okay. Once again, I don't know what's happening here. Why are their pants so unflattering? They were $40. And the top is kind of like a sweatshirt, but there's not a hoodie. It's like a mock neck. It's a Chaps brand. It's like 70 something dollars. Um, but it's not very heavy. I mean, it's like a thicker cotton, but it's not like a hoodie material necessarily. And this was a 2X. I forgot to wrap up the vlog after I left Kohl's. I'm back in my garage, as you can see. And I kind of wish I would have remembered because now I don't like remember everything. But I don't, I don't have very strong feelings about Kohl's. Like, Everything I feel is kind of negative. Their sizing and the way things fit me is odd. Like their pants were all not very flattering. And I don't know, like those jeans, they were size 18 and the way they fit me in like my pooch area was really not flattering. But then like on the label, it was like secret slimming, you know, ultra recovery, all this stuff. But yet they did not look good and I don't know if like I should have sized down but I feel like a 16 would have been way too tight but I guess maybe I should have just tried it on to see because like the problem I have with weight loss is that I have it's very loose and jiggly so I need something that's gonna like push it in and hold it in and that's one of the reasons why I wear like Spanx underwear a lot especially in pants like that because it's not like either the pants have to be tight to like hold it in or um, the or my underwear has to be tight to hold it in so I guess maybe like I said I should have tried on a 16 so like none of the pants I were ha I was happy about except for the Vera Wangs but those were way too expensive I wasn't gonna buy those ever in my life and then plus black pants are flattering anyways because you, they give the illusion of being like smooth and stuff because you can't see anything because it's black. Now their tops, there was a bunch of really cute tops that I tried on, but I feel like that was all. They have a huge selection of clothes, but a very small plus size section, relatively speaking at least, because I mean like Target's even smaller than, than Kohl's. At least Kohl's has some, some more variety, but the type of clothing that you find in the Kohl's plus size section versus like Torrid or something like that. It's not very trendy. Most of it's like business, kind of like business casual church type clothes, which for me, it doesn't, isn't really realistic since I'm not working in an office setting anymore. If I still worked in an office, um, I probably would shop a lot at Kohl's to be honest, but I don't need like slacks and blouses and stuff like that. So, um, and I, like I said, I wasn't happy with their pants. I was happy with a few of their tops. I didn't buy anything. The one thing I did like about Kohl's was their dressing room situation. It was quiet and there was no music playing. And they have so many dressing rooms. They have one in the women's, they have one in the little boys, one in the little girls, one in the men's. And you can go to any of them. You don't have to go to the one in the section. So I just went to the one in the little boys section because there was nobody in there. And actually they had the women's one closed so I had to go to another one. And um, so I liked that. I, I That was a positive. <laughs> I think if I was going to buy anything, I liked that Buffalo Check shirt a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I'm definitely gonna go back to Kohl's again, probably in like around the summer, well, when I get their summer clothes, I'll probably go again because I have shopped there once or twice. I got um, some summer tops from them a few years ago. All right, that was everything for this week's Fashion Friday. Do you shop at Kohl's? Do you know how to work the Kohl's cash? <laughs> um, let me know down in the comments. If you have a retailer that you would like for me to check out, leave a comment down below as well. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.